My name is Jonathan, uh, Jonathan Rogers, uh, State Manager at Wickham Vineyard. We're based in Hampshire, uh, just outside Southampton. Uh, we're an 18 acre vineyard. The whole estate is 40 acres, but we've got 18 acres under vine. Uh, we grow 10 different varieties, uh, six whites and four reds. We also own 20 acres of vineyards up in Suffolk as well, uh, where all the grapes literally come down from there, but everything is then made at Wickham Vineyard as well. The vineyard was started by um, a, a couple called John and Caroline Charnley uh, back in 1984. And I think really it was more of a hobby, really. Um, they had other jobs which they wanted to do. They found the land uh, and became aware of the suitability of the actual area to be able to plant good vines there. So that's really kind of one the, the reason why they set it up, more as a hobby more than anything. And then it's just grown and grown and grown from there. Uh, and as we're, I think we're the third owners to have it. Uh, since then, uh, and now we're going to take it to one step further, certainly. The range of wines we have are a, a mixture of reds and whites. We concentrate mainly on our still wines. We do produce a small amount of sparkling, but really our still wines is really kind of what we're concentrating on and what we want to focus on. Um, we have uh, three different red uh, wines that we produce. Um, uh, we do two different rosés. Uh, we have two different dry white wines, uh, including our Fumé. Um, which are uh, a very good quality, very rich in style. Uh, we also have a medium wine as well, which is perfect for everyday drinking, very good for aperitif wine. This is um, our special release uh, Fumé 2009 from Wickham Vineyard. Uh, blend of two great varieties, Bacchus and Reichensteiner, and then aged in oak for about two months. The wine is uh, a relatively rich, uh, kind of golden yellow color. Quite deep style, uh, light on the palate, but the colour gives it kind of a, an added bonus of uh, being a lot more deeper in style. Uh, on the nose, it's lovely richness to the fruit. Very, very evident of uh, things like lychees, very tropical fruits, kind of vanilla, uh, lots of softness on there. It's coming through, it's very, very intense fruit on the nose as well, very heavy, uh, and a lovely kind of balance of oak with fruit as well on the finish. There's that lovely rich fullness there again, and that tropical fruit that comes uh, is apparent on the nose comes through on the palate very nicely. Again, there's that lovely rich creamy vanilla flavor. In, in between, kind of very balanced with oak as well. Uh, we don't want to over oak this wine. It's only a very, very small amount, only two months. But it, does, it is evident on the fruit as well. Uh, and then on the finish, a lovely creaminess, lovely richness to it, which is very long lasting as well. In terms of food, uh, we recommend this kind of very much kind of with fish dishes as well as white meat dishes, poultry, that sort of thing, salads. Nothing too heavy. It's got the weight to stand up to most uh, kind of poultry dishes as well. But it's, it's also lovely on its own. It's got the richness as well. Very good as an aperitif wine. Uh, you can buy the wines uh, in, in local Waitrose. They have it just in, a, in and around Hampshire. They take our Fumé and one of our Reds. As I said, we also have our range of wine shops now called Wine Shack. Uh, they're, again, within a 50-mile radius of, of the vineyard, uh, dotted around Hampshire and Dorset. And you can buy our complete range of wines down there. Uh, we also have a very good cellar door wine shop at the vineyard where you can purchase the wines as well. And also there you can come down and do free wine tastings whenever you want, do tours of the vineyards. We'll explain our winemaking process and how we grow our grapes. Uh, and then you can finish off with a free tasting of the complete range of wines as well.